That ain't no cigarette, big man. Can't you smell it? That's what I do. Burn rubber. Don't worry, about it. Don't worry about it. Yo, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Ranj. I hope you're all doing well. We've got some good weather finally. Obviously, you've seen Marvy on the channel before. He previously had the Golf GTI Mark 7. Uh, that car was super nice. It was front wheel drive. Now, Marvy has basically lost his mind and basically gone to the opposite side. So he's left the VAG group. Uh, but now, he's got a BMW M140i. Um, is this any special edition? No, regular. Really? Yeah, I thought it was the shadow edition with the black mirror. Oh, it? sorry, tell a lie. It is a shadow edition. Okay. Um, we'll get into the spec later, but yeah, it's a shadow edition. Yeah. Shadow edition, okay. Um, it's a big difference from your GTI to this. The other one thing that hasn't changed, you've not gone, you're still with a two wheel drive car. How does that feel? Proper driver's car, this is like, or any rear wheel drive car for that, for that matter, it's just more engaging. Um, you kind of feel what the car's doing more at the back and it gives you a lot more confidence because the front wheel drive it's like if the front goes on a front wheel drive it just feels weird um, the wheel spin itself at the front feels weird whereas the wheel spin at a rear wheel drive car is going to require you to be um, on point and like counter it but you can still push on whilst the back end is like moving about like we did just there <laughs> Everyone's going to have their own exterior aesthetic opinion. So for me, in my opinion, I just 
better the way my car looks now because of the way I, the stuff I've done to it. I think out of the box maybe on a track your car would feel a little bit better. Yeah, just because it's rear wheel drive that's the only reason. Given everything I've done to my car, the coilovers, the rear uh, roll bar, um, the front uh, caster increase bushes, the rear trailing arm bushes kit, everything I've done, I honestly think that my car handles amazingly now. Yeah, and I'm not, when it, prior to that, it didn't, and I've always been open about that as well. So I don't know, I think it, it's really tit for tat, but I think the one thing that the M140 wins clearly on is the tuning capabilities and how cheap it is to do. Yeah, really do. It's, it's so expensive to stage two. Like you said, what, 1,000 to 1,500 quid to stage two of this car, yeah? Yeah. To stage two my car safely, you are honestly looking at... Two to three grand. Two to two... You're looking at a grand more, which is a lot yeah. of money in the long yeah. run. Do you get what I mean? So, um, yeah, that would basically be my opinion. Cheating on his S3. <laughs> now nah, it feels really nice. It feels premium. It, it, it feels like a car you can get used to very quickly. I'm not on about the power bar, like absolutely shafting of it in terms of like. It's just easy to drive in it. Really easy to, to drive, drive car. Uh, I can really appreciate why people like it. If you've got an M140i, please use this steering mod. This steering wheel feels so premium. Yeah. Mate, nice. I love the electric seats as well. So far, so good. Yeah, the brakes, stock brakes. They're a bit sp spongy. Yeah. Need to like they're not, they don't feel as sharp as my S3, but then my, you know what's really weird? My sister, her um, 435D, the brakes feel similar. I think the brakes might be the same because she's got the M Performance uh, brakes on her oh, car. They probably are. I just need to um, up the pads. This is dirty on here, isn't it? Yeah, up the quality of the discs on the pads. Before driving, I had this like little bit of a um, thought that it's going to be really hard to drive, it's going to be really difficult, and it's going to be scary and blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. I think people, what they're doing, they put this, this instill this, this fear and this stigma into you, like BMW, the fuck car to drive, they're a proper driver's car, and you know, if you if you can't drive, like you're screwed kind of thing, you're going to end up off the road. Shall I be honest with you? Not I've not actually flat put my foot down, but I had to put my foot down a little bit, I didn't put it flat to the floor, but I'll tell you what, it feels really, really, really good, like really controllable. Yeah. It's planted, it's controllable, but if you're being an idiot, and and got, there we go. You got traction off, and you're flying on some dodgy bends where you shouldn't really be doing that kind of speed or something. It's very easy to crash. If you're a sensible person, what I'll say is, if you're sensible and you're just like a decent driver, then you will really like this car. Because I think for me, this is a, a thousand steps up from your GTI. It feels yeah. premium. Yeah, it feels really good. Like it feels I don't like miss the GTI. No, I wouldn't miss the GTI. I don't miss my car right now. But if it's <laughs> gas. <laughs> Bro, the way this is putting power down, like I thought it'd be like this, but it's uh, not. I'm starting to like how playful it is. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Fuck me out on one of these. So I'm <laughs> not even lying, I actually want like a rear wheel drive car to have fun with. I never thought I'd feel the hype, but I do now. No, no, you do. Okay now, yo, guys, this is such a nice car. I feel like, you know when I got into your GTI, I never felt like... Yeah, I know what you mean. There's no wow, it's like, oh, nice. Sorry, no, 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 it wasn't the wow. I just never felt like, look at the way I'm driving, bro. Like, I feel like this is my fucking car, do you get me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is like my car. Like, it honestly feels that kind of, it's like, so, you know, you've got top tier. Yeah, yeah. It's got something really special about this car, and I really see it, and I really, I, when you were driving, I just thought, wow, she's a fucking hoonigan. Like, yeah, you know, well, you're just, when you drive it yourself. It's really, yeah. really nice. What handling mod have you done so far to the car? Because for me, if I had a rear wheel drive car, I'd jump straight into handling first yeah, of all. That's exactly what I did. I um, I lowering springs. What? MMR lowering springs. So MMR lowering springs. 30 mil drop at the rear. Yep. And 20 to 25 at the front. Okay. So. The mechanic I use um, for all my mods and stuff, he was like, the rear needs to be sat lower. 
because on these cars stuff I don't know if you remember it the rear was so up high, high yeah yeah so high it was higher than the front right so the rear for handling wise and traction and stuff the rear needs to be um, lower than the front okay so that drop makes the car level across front and rear mm -hmm. um, on the back there is a subframe which has got three subframe mounts yeah and there is also two or three diff mounts yeah upgraded them um, so the stock ones they're, they're okay but they're not big enough for the actual subframe gap okay whereas these ones fit the full subframe so there's no movement in the subframe sure uh, I don't know if you remember the feeling of that move when we were stuck but um, yeah like you'd be doing 70 and sometimes a car would feel like it's flowing the back wanted to rotate I said that I remember it yeah. felt like a bit of a boaty feeling yeah so that's gone now yeah it has um and those are the what pushes did you use or mounts or power flex power flex yeah. the best in the game power flex yeah. um, I always say power flex and super grow like my go to yeah yeah brands are like pushes and mounts and, and I also did geo alignment ok uh, that, I think that's made a big difference on like the turning and stuff mm -hmm. um, but yeah the other handling mode so far I've got a couple more to do um, rear rear brace underbody brace I need to put that on What's that going to do? Stiffen it up, tighten it yeah, up? Yeah, so it, would, it should just hold the subframe tighter. So yeah. when the car's getting that extra torque and the subframes are moving. Yeah. Now don't get me wrong, it's more planted, but as you felt, it still moves around. Yeah, yeah, just slightly. So hopefully that will tighten that up a little bit more. Would um, you lower it anymore or that's it? No, it's not getting lowered anymore. No coil over plans in the future? Not no, um, none of that. It's just, this, this sits nice and the splitter setup and stuff like that I don't scrape anywhere it's much better than the golf yeah and the golf was on stock height can I ask you a quick question just to interrupt you there what tyres are you running? Uh, Michelin Super Sports they're quite noisy aren't they? yeah <laughs> they are noisy Michelin's are they are fucking incredibly noisy but honest to god they're not even a rated tyre um, they're good in the dry they're, they're really noisy but um, in that the wet they're awful it's like I'm, I'm starting to worry like our voices are not going to be picked up by the camera yeah, yeah. and I'll tell you why you don't mind I've got the sunroof's open that might be why it comes close possibly try it it don't make much of a difference nah you see my pilot's got four S's yeah it was only until Vira just pointed out to me how fucking noisy they are they're very noisy Mitchell in a really noisy tyre so I will probably go to Goodyear after this I'm not going to lie yeah so Bobby's running right now those new wheels uh, Goodyear because I had Goodyear's on the GTI and they're those the Eagle F1 Super Sport things yeah, yeah. Do you know they're rated? Do you know on the tyre review.com they got number one this year? They meant to be a really good tyre, and I yeah. believe it. And the road noise is a lot less. Fuck, you know, I can't believe that noise. That's one thing you don't pick up until you've driven a car for a little while, you know. Yeah. Like how, and, and, and you start comparing it to other tyres. But sorry, I did rudely interrupt you there about the, the th last thing you mentioned that I asked was about, you know, you've got no plans to coil up in the future. You do have plans for a, a race truck brace, is that right? Yeah, race truck brace, and possibly. Better dampers like the Bilstein dampers. Yeah. What about LSD? I don't know yet. Um, the hardly that transform these cars differently from what I've heard. It does, but the, the thing with the LSD is that people overhype it because you don't really see the benefits of the LSD until you're pushing the car at nine tenths. So you got to push the car at its limit, which you can't do on these roads. Absolutely never. And really, you're only going to see the most benefits on the track. Right. Okay. But, so it's a track uh, mod, really. Really, yeah, kind of. It does help with traction a little bit, but as you've seen today, we don't, I don't really have any major traction issues to be honest. This comes with stock on four pots at the front, I think. And then what, two pots at the back? Or one so. single piston at the back or something? I, th I, I think, think, think you've got four pots at the front and maybe two pistons yeah, at the back. Yeah, I think so. Which is not bad, that's a, a decent setup. So really, all you need to do is upgrade your discs and disc possible and pads. pads, really. That is uh, exactly what I'm going to do, disc and pads. What have you done to the power of this car? Like, you know, what have you changed uh, from power the day you got it? Downpipe, res to me. Coming at 470, but 
we toned it down because I'm running stock fuel pump still. Okay. Um, but do you, I don't, do you need a change of fuel pump to do with the stage two? On these, on these ones, yeah, because the factory fuel pump, it's all right for stage one, but once you start pushing it to stage two and beyond, it's not that good. Right, okay. So eventually, um, that's on the next, I'm gonna have to do that next. I will upgrade the fuel pump. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna push it to stage two plus and get the extra torque. But it dyno, wow. it dyno that 470, um, it toned it down to 460, and right, okay. it made 573 pounds for a ton, right, okay. and it toned that down to about 502, 503. So what's the increase you've seen from the stock figures? Because I believe these are what, 3... 340, this dyno that 340 stock. Right, 340 um, stock. And wow, you've made a fucking huge increase there. Yeah, over a hundred pound for a talk. Yeah. And about 100, 120, 30 bhp or something. People don't buy M140i because it's, you know, they only buy it for the V58 engine. Yeah, the engine, that's it, straight up. And the capabilities. The engine, the tuning capabilities, the reliability, it's a proper reliable engine, this. Mm. And um, obviously the noise. Me and Bobby did some races with his RS3, did some rolling races and stuff. Um, he's running more power and more torque. Was neck and neck. Like he got the jump, obviously four wheel drive. Yeah. But one side got my system. But your gearbox is a lot better than his. Yeah, gearbox is right. Z, your Z off gearbox is one of the best. Yeah, and it's been uh, mapped as well. Gearbox. Is so mapped. you got a TTU map, yeah. Yeah, right. basically. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, once I got in the right gear, got the power down fully, it was seriously neck and neck. Like I would look out this window and see <laughs> fucking Bobby right next to me. <laughs> right. I was just like, wow, this is mad. Did you feel like when you got this car, it takes a while to find the power bands in it? Yeah. It does. Fifth gear. No, oh, you're mental. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ, I thought we were going to die then. No. I felt that you needed that little extra bit and it was there. Yeah. We were not going to say what was happening on the road then. <laughs> <laughs> I had to drop an extra gear. I'm there, mate. Bro, you're, smart. You're, you're in the seat of all my things. Yeah, you're on the left hand side of your feet. I was, was going to pull in behind him, but I was just like, I'm going to have to break. You know what? Hard. I was like, I'd just drop a more, another gear. And just be my, let's see what my heart rate is just up there. It's gone to 80. <laughs> but listen, what's interesting about that is, I honestly got in my own heart, but I didn't think you were going to make that. But what was interesting is, I thought you was already in the... I thought you was already in the game I, to be in. Yeah, yeah. But when you dropped it, the car basically said, nah, I've got this. Yeah. Now, that's what it basically felt like. Now, don't worry. Like, got it. Like, it's it was all safe. Yeah. I'm in fear of my life right now. Because, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because he's a bad driver. Because it is, like... It's a nutty car. It's a nutty car. It'd be a lie to say I'm not feeling what the car's doing. I'm feeling yeah, what yeah. the car's doing. And, like, if you put someone in the back now, they're going to be scared just, just as much as me. Yeah, I've had that situation. I had my sister in the back once. Yeah, that's a straight with the speed uh, from that. From the day I saw it, I'm on about it looks stockily like yeah. stock stock. That's like a regular one series, doesn't it? What you've done now is you've added some things to it. So yeah. tell me, touch on the exterior. Whilst they're mild, they've made a big difference in my opinion. Yeah, exterior. Um, massively needed on these cars because they look just like a regular one series stock. Yeah. Um, so maxed body kit all the way around, front splitter, side skirts, big rear diffuser, mm. uh, and lip spoiler on the back, yeah. and new exhaust is bigger tips, the diffuser's so big, yeah, it hit the, hit the stock tips. I had the same issue, that's why oh, I yeah, had yeah, 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 bigger tips. What was cheaper to tune, the GTI or this, or would you say, for uh, me, there's a big, big, vast difference, right? There is, and I explain why. So on the M140, is all you need is a downpipe. So downpipes go for about 450 to about 550. Yeah. That's all you need. But you've got a sports car. Sports car. Yeah. Sorry, my my uh, the quote there is for the sports car. Okay. Cool. Wow. That, really? Yeah. That's all. Decent you, that. Yeah. That's all you need. Um, to tune 500 quid. So you're, you're talking Say in 50, and around 50, a grand. 1500 quid. 1000 to 1500 quid. Yeah. Yeah. That's cheap. That. But this is this is where you're gonna be really shocked. You know the stock cap on these cars. Yeah. You can sell for anywhere from five hundred to nine hundred quid. So basically, what Marvy's saying is, buy an M one forty i, sell your stock car, and basically and that, straight yeah, to. Yeah, that covers all the stage two costs. That's mental. So well, there you are. So if you basically are looking to get an M one forty i, or you've got an M one forty i, and you want to stage two it, I would basically just follow what Marvy's done in terms of the process. 
because, just because he's done such a good job and the way the car handles and the way the car feels is just so impressive as yeah. hopefully some of this footage of this video shows. The last thing I really want to touch on before we just go, you know, hooligan mode is some of the internal features and this is what I really kind of appreciate and take in when I'm in a new car. Inside. Spec, spec wise you mean? The spec wise, yeah. So I'll let you touch on the overall spec of the car because it's literally full, full of it. But it's a really nice place to be. For example, I've got electric seats. It feels premium. Yeah. Um, the design of the car is different to mine, but overall the leathers, they feel really nice. They feel really premium. I mean, everything I'm touching pretty much right now, apart from the little uh, cubby hole and things on the side, the door side um, holders, they're the only thing that are in hard plastic. Everything else is in a nice leathery feel. Yeah. But overall, it's just a really nice place to be. Um, it's clean, obviously Marvy has a tendency of keeping his cars clean because the GTI was always in back back condition. Up, yeah. um, but overall it's nice. Um, but yeah, run us through the specs because I'm really happy with what I'm seeing right now. Uh, spec wise, I remember it, it's got a big spec sheet. Um, so start with the sunroof. Yeah. It's tilt sunroof, features. slide sunroof. Um, it's got front parking sensors. The rear ones are standard if you get a shadow edition. Right, okay. With the front optional extras, so it's got front parking sensors. Yep. Electric seats, as you said. It's yep. got adaptive front headlights. Yep. Um, folding mirrors. Harman Kardon is standard if you get a shadow edition. Nice. Um, it's got reverse camera. It's got some other features in the entertainment system, so like traffic control and uh, music. I've got a subscription to a music system, Deezer or something. Oh, Deezer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Deezer. Uh, it's got the professional nav, heated seats. Has it got a large screen? Oh, that's, that's right, there's two screens. Yeah, yeah, so that, yeah that's the upgrade. That's the upgrade, that's a big pro nav. Uh, yep. Business nav is a smaller one, you have to get pro nav. How much it actually cost you to run? Uh, maintenance wise, I don't know because I haven't been hit with any major costs. The, the first one, and the biggest one, is the road tax. Right, what's that? 500 quid. Fucking hell, man's only 100. The, yeah, the golf was only 150, 560. The reason why this is 500 quid is because it's like fully spec. It's got every option. Wow, that's mental. That. Um, and the spec list brought it to 43 grand brand new. Why? Okay, that's so, fine. Yeah. What's in terms of uh, no one really ever buys these cars for the long journeys, but it's always good to have a car that can do both on a long journey. What you typically see in terms of a PG, if you know. Uh, you can easily get 40 in this. Yeah, can, I can imagine it's got eight, power. Eight gears. Eight gears? Oh, so it's a ZF gear, isn't it? Yeah, ZF gear, eight yeah. gears. Um, so if you sit at about 65 to 75, you're easily getting 40 plus. And the highest I've had is 44 mpg. Not bad. Um, What's the full tank on this? It depends. When I got the car, I was doing a bit more motorway mileage, so I was getting about 420, 30 miles from a tank. Not bad. Um, but around town, Oh, it's atrocious. You're looking at about 200 to 250 at the most. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Which is it's reasonable to be honest. You got a virtual. It's like a slash. It's kind of like virtual, but non-virtual. Kind, kind of. It's kind of like a mixture. Yeah, it's. Um, is it classed as a digital um, dashboard? Yeah, kind of. Because what you see is um, it's not actually built into the screen. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like an LED style dash where you turn the car on it comes up. So it's not full virtual. But like, yeah, kind of. Does this car come with cruise control and all that stuff? Yeah, cruise control standard. What about um, the steering wheel? You've yeah. changed that as well, haven't you? Yeah, I had a retrim from Royal Steering Wheels. Um, much needed because the stock one is so thin. When you're sending it, you need a better feel. Like you want a thicker feel in the steering wheel, just sure. because it feels like you've got better grip of the car. I always feel like that. It feels like you're engaging with it a little bit more. Yeah, and it just yeah. feels nicer that when you're sending it, it's like you're holding on to something that's a bit thicker and whatnot. Yeah. And it looks better the stock one. You remember seeing the stock one? It looked no, like, I can't even remember, but that know, one looks pink. Yeah, it looked awful. This one's a lot point. better. Fucking <laughs> 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 you know, we're driving through the most quaint village ever. Oh, my God, she's hating us. <laughs> Listen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do drop a like, drop a comment, uh, let Marvin know what you think of his car. If you've got any questions for him, uh, drop a comment below. I know he'll comment back to you or I'll comment on his behalf. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Many more reviews like this coming up in the future. I'll definitely you know, do an in-depth review of comparing my S3 to Marvin M140i.
uh, side by side. So we'll do a couple of rolling races as a separate video when my car stops is a stage two and then we'll do it again when my car's tuned eventually. But yeah, again, please do carry on supporting the channel. Um, drop Marvy a follow on his Instagram. So drop Marvy a follow on his Instagram. I'll put all the links to his social media um, platforms in the description box. Listen bro, massive thank you for you know, coming back onto my channel, man. It's always a pleasure to have you on. Um, to be fair, I kind of miss your GTI sometimes. <laughs> I've actually watched that video back and it's actually so good. I watched it. Watch. To that fucking GTI. Why it was oh, yeah. Speaking I watched it back as well the other day, I'm not going to lie. It's actually a really good video, I'm not going to lie. One of the best videos I've done. But uh, listen, until next time, take it easy. Peace.